In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a clean and neat uh, slide for conserving the water. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added one gradient background. When I click, it will show you the three icons, okay, uh, where you can just put the icons which are relevant to the water and then you can add the text. And here below, I've I added kind of a waves uh, with some animation effect. And I've added one more slide with a different background a gradient background and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and go to the insert shapes from the rectangle i'm going to choose this rectangle and draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and then right mouse click go to format shape here i'm going to insert one gradient fill background for that select the picture or texture fill because i've used this previously that's the reason or you can just go to insert online pictures and you can just type your requirement i can just say uh, purple and orange gradient for example i'm just typing this one and it will give me this one you can see here i've chosen and i've selected this particular color and any color of your choice you can just select that one and click on insert you can just say select and insert so i'm not going to insert that one because i've already inserted that one and you can just go to the picture format and you can give some artistic effect and you can make it more a kind of a blur effect and if you want to increase the blur effect you need to go to the effects scroll down and you can see the artistic effects you can increase or decrease this okay all right so once this is done i'm going to insert some oval shapes go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it white and then depending on the requirement you can add this uh, you can add more oval shapes so here hold the control shift key okay and one more so three i'm going to add the oval shapes here then i'm going to insert some icons related to water okay so scroll down and choose some relevant icons so i'm going to choose this one the hand and scroll down further and here we have got the symbol of some yeah here this one and if i scroll further down i can choose some clouds here and click insert and i've got these shapes here this particular shape i'm going to increase the size to 1.5 all right then i'm going to place this one maybe this will come here this will come here and this will come here all right now i would like to insert the same background uh this a gradient color for this particular icons okay so here when i click the when i selected the icons you can see here i cannot do that one so for that what you need to do is you need to select all these icons under the graphics format you just say convert to shape okay now the moment i convert to shape you can see here i can just go and choose that color so i'm just going to select these three and i'm going to put the gradient or the picture or texture fill the moment i did that one you can see here the same background i have been added here now with the help of this offsets okay remove this one you can see here i can increase or decrease this one you can see here i can just play with the colors all right so it looks something like this so once this is done all right i'm going to add one more this particular shape press ctrl d reduce the size and put it here all right and once this is done go to insert text box i'll say conserve water you can just choose any font or maybe i can choose open sans increase the size make it bold make it white and that's it if you want you can make it more loose also here and once this is done 
you can select these objects and press ctrl g to group it okay select and group it so this will help us to do the animation so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these shapes and i'm going to say fly in fly in i'm going to make it from top and this should happen after previous okay i can just go here and just say after previous and here i can go to the effect options and if you want increase the bounce end okay so it comes like this okay and once this is done i'm going to add one more animation go to the more entrance effects stretch click ok if you want across it, uh, you can do it or if you want you can make it from the top also so if i play it comes like this conserve water all right and then i'm just going to zoom out then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this curve line here i'm going to just make some kind of a wave effect and double click here shape outline make it white color all right press ctrl d or you can just add some more waves here you can see here and then again make it white all right if you want you can add more also now i'm going to just select this one go to the animations i'm going to make it white all right this should happen after previous all right and then i'm going to add one more go and click on the add animation scroll down and you can see the custom path here i'm just going to make it very small one all right so it just moves here and there okay so one more i have added that should happen after previous or it should let me make it with previous this one all right and this also right mouse click effect options smooth start smooth end auto reverse timings you can make it medium not a problem repeat until end of the slide click ok now if i play the slide you can see here it comes like this again depending on the requirement if you want you can just move this up also okay so depending on the requirement you can add or delete these options